Hey, what's up everybody? It's Johnny. Um, today, first of all, I just want to apologize in advance. You can't see my beautiful face, alright? You, you just can't. Not today. Second, I can't believe I'm actually doing it. I'm showing my collection of lobby cards and posters of Elvis I have. I've had these for quite a while, especially these lobby cards. And I'm going to show you guys. Okay? And I've probably had these, this stack of lobby cards from about the time I was 13. 14 really about when I started collecting Elvis the thing is I've seen a lot of stuff of Elvis uh, as far as movie posters and lobby cards go over the years especially the movie posters but you know early on I didn't have a job and when I started getting into Elvis I'm sure my parents wanted to kill me because I wanted everything in sight and you know sometimes they bought me stuff sometimes they didn't you know they were limited to what they can get me to really get my fill on my Elvis collecting you know you know most kids were collecting my age now we're collecting pokemon cards and maybe certain action figures but me i was collecting all this stuff you know that was just i was very uh different i guess in the bunch probably compared to your average 13 year old but anyways but i, I used to do like side jobs like uh detailing cars and washing cars and i would accumulate money there was one couple used to give me a lot of money to do that stuff i'd be out there for hours you know working for that money but anyways and i would buy some stuff of Elvis, but except for me rambling on, how about I start showing you guys this stuff, alright so this is for it happens at the World's Fair hold on, let me do like this I have two of them um, usually I think there's about ten in a set of lobby cars that has just different scenes from the movie and this is for it happened at the World's Fair this is number four in the set like I said, I think it's between six and ten in a set usually um, I see these, I got, I remember at the time paying 25 to $30 for each of these, which, you know, sometimes you can get the whole set for like, maybe $150 at the most, usually I see them for. I think it just depends on the rarity and the movie and how big it was too. Like, I'm sure Viva Las Vegas and GI Blues and all that, especially the ones in the 50s, are probably worth a lot. But these are probably basic. But anyways, maybe if people wanted to fill in a gap, they can... You know, body separately. But anyways, this is the first one I have of Happen at the World's Fair. Okay. And this is the second one I have. Number six in the set. Um, yeah, these are really cool. They look like they're about 11 by 14. I could probably frame these if I want. But, you know, I can't hang everything on the wall. You know. Alright, this is from, I think the movie from 63. Um, Final Acapulco. The movie poster looks something like that, I remember. And some of these movie posters I have seen in person, which I will identify as we go. This is number, what did I say, eight? Yeah, number eight in the set. So, here you go. Fun and Acapulco. And this one, this is from 64. A scene from Kissing Cousins, number seven in the set. Elvis is basically uh, about to fight himself, about to kick his own ass, you know. So, yeah, there you go with that. Good stuff. This is Tickle Me. It has a little bit of damage in the corner. Like maybe it hit water or something stained it. Um, this is number one in the set. And you know, when I first started getting into Elvis, I remember the day very, very vividly I got into Elvis. I was about in eighth grade, I want to say. And it must have been around when it was his 25th anniversary of his death. Because TCM was playing their movies. And I got home from school off the bus. And I was fluffing through the channels. I, already, I knew who Elvis was, no doubt. But, you know, never was really into him. And I saw this movie. Uh, I mean, of course it wasn't a good movie. It's not one of his good movies. But he just caught my eye. Because, you know, it's Elvis. He's just cool looking, I think. And um, I, just stood there, I just sat there and started watching it. And then I watched the other movies that came on after, like, after that and so on and I remember a recording on VHS the movies that played throughout the night which I think one of them was Joust Rock and Speedway um, but yeah so anyways this is Tickle Me and this is one probably I hate that it's kind of weird to say but it kind of got me into Elvis but there you go alright and this is the last one of my lobby cards this is number actually this is number one in the set also of Paradise Hawaiian style. It's like from 65, 66, this movie. 
I think it's his last movie that was shot in Hawaii. So, then, you know, the Aloha from Hawaii special came that was recorded in. But yeah, so this is uh, Paradise Hawaiian style. Okay, so that's it for the, the lobby cards. Okay. Sorry for a second if I'm making y'all dizzy. Alright, so now I'm going to show my three original movie posters. I acquired these probably in the past five years. Um, i seen this one before years ago. But I didn't get one, a copy of one until later. And I think this one's probably in better shape than the one I saw originally. But this is from 1968. Um, this is the poster to Stay Away Joe. And this movie, it really is, honestly and truly, uh, it's just a bunch of nonsense, really. There's no rhyme or reason of this movie. It's just a lot of nonsense. Uh, but yeah, and these all these movie posters are 27 by 41, which is very weird size. If there were 27 by 40, I would be able to friend of myself but they're 27 by 41 and i don't want to cut an inch off an original movie poster so i priced them i i remember taking one of these and pricing them um how much it would be to frame and you know you get all the special stuff like the acid-free paper behind it and the certain glass and whatever border frame or some crap um i want to say it's like between 250 and 300 to frame one of these suckers man and that's a lot of money. It really is to me. But maybe one day I'll I'll do it. Maybe a little at a time I'll get these framed. I'm not getting busy. And I'm sure these folds maybe over time would uh, probably flatten. Maybe in, I don't know, like 10 years or something. But yeah. So this movie poster is like 50 years old now. But yeah. So that's, uh, I'll give you one more look. That's Stay Away Joe. It's so big, I had to step, you know, back a little bit. So I haven't laid out on my bed. But there you go. Stay away, Joe. All right. Next movie poster is actually one of my favorite movies. But so he, it was just such a different role for Elvis. And this movie poster is... Hold on for one second. I just messed up sliding it. Okay. And this movie poster is for the movie... Charo from 1969 um you know what it's a movie didn't drag and the music in it like the I know he didn't do any songs really for this movie except for the title song but the other music like I guess the or orchestration and the movie does drag a little bit if it wasn't for that this would be a really good movie I mean I think the reason why I like this movie because you know Elvis just looks so different I mean he doesn't he has a beard you know, when the hell did you ever see him be, uh, with a beard in his life? This is like the only time you saw him with a beard. And he wears his hat low. He looks rugged. He looks like he's going to kick somebody's ass, you know. It's really cool. Good movie. It really is. And I, and I, and I, I uh, read some facts about the background of the production of it. It's pretty cool, I remember. But yeah, I recommend seeing this Western if you have not. This is actually one of my, like I said, one of my top favorites. And maybe I'll do a... A video on some of my favorite Elvis movies. I showed my movie collection of him, but like I said, maybe I'll redo that one too. Go through them quicker. Um, except for talking so much, and I sounded boring as hell, and lighting's bad in some of my videos. So maybe I'll redo that one day, and I'll do a video of my favorite Elvis movies. So, yeah. So that's Charo from 1969. Okay. So, if you guys know your Elvis facts, which I'm sure you do, um, this was Elvis's, next one is Elvis's last scripted film. And to me, honestly, probably one of his best films. And I think a lot of people forget about it, but believe it or not, but that was Change of Habit. Uh, Co-star Mary Tyler Moore and Barbara McNair, who was actually, she was a singer too, actually. And she had her own variety show. But anyways. But uh, yeah, this is Change of Habit. And oh, there's a little bit of light on it. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, this is Change of Habit. 
this is a really good movie, man. If you have not seen this, I highly recommend you watching it. Um, it is available on... All his movies are available on DVD now, so... If you want to get his movies, you can. Um, it just has, like... It's a really good dramatic role. Serious themes. Um, basically, you know, Elvis is a, a doctor in, like, this run-down neighborhood. And... Somewhere along the line, these nuns come in. They, like, work with him. And he falls for Mary Tyler Moore. And she's falling for him. But she can't be with him, you know, because she's a nun. So she kind of has to choose. And the only thing that pisses me off about this movie is... And he uses, and actually, there's a lot of uh, racy things in here, like cuss words and stuff, which you never heard. So that's what I'm saying. This was a very different movie. It wasn't like the clean old American kid singing songs to girls and getting the girls and whatever. But... um. And I lost my train of thought. But yeah, this is a very good movie. You should really, really watch it. I totally recommend it. Hear Elvis sing rubbernecking. But you know what? And I've seen other original movie posters in the past. Um, I wish I could have bought. Like, I remember seeing in person. I saw uh, Paradise of Wine style. I saw Live a Little, Love a Little. And believe it or not, I think I saw an original Love Me Tender poster one time. And that was a time when I was about 13 or 14. And I wanted it so bad. Oh my gosh. And I remember saving up money and going back. And, you know, of course it was gone. Uh, those ones from the 50s are probably, those are really hard to get. So, yeah. I missed that one. But anyways, that's it. I just wanted to show you all my movie poster collection. And I hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you find it interesting. Um, and I know places where I can get other movie posters of his. I know where I can definitely get it happen at the World's Fair. Clam Bake and Easy Come, Easy Go. Maybe I'll, but you know, usually if anything, these go for a couple hundred bucks. And I got them below that. Um, you know, it's safe to say that the peak of the Elvis Presley memorabilia was honestly probably in the 90s, I would say. And maybe to the early 2000s. So you can get stuff for a little bit cheaper now. Stuff for stuff in the 50s, really. Honestly. And I think, honestly, I hate to say it, I think as the older generation dies off, you know, stuff will, will become cheaper at one time. At some point. So, yeah. But anyways, that's it. I'm glad I finally did it. I got it out of my system. You know. Hope you all enjoyed this. And I will see you all soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you uh, for your comments and everything else you all do for me. And I will see you all next time, okay? Uh, so have a good one. Bye.